The Diesel. Unholy Cocktail. Good evening, everyone. Well, evening for me. Uh, I've got another review here. We have the Diesel Unholy Cocktail in Bellicoso. It is a believe, hold on, let me check. I don't want to give wrong information out. Uh, let's see, five by 56 stick uh, in Bellicoso. Looking good, nice dark chocolatey wrap on there. Tight and invisible seams, can't even see the seams actually. Uh, yeah, the tip is starting to come apart just a little bit up there. Not too worried about it because I'm going to be chopping that off, but hopefully uh, hopefully it holds. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very, very nice stick. Pretty firm pack. Dense, spongy. A little bit spongy. And a nice deep chocolate and hay aroma. Very, very nice. All right. Let's, uh, let's get it cut up and start toasting. Right on. All right, right away. It was kind of difficult to explain. So I'm getting a little bit of earth, a little bit, and a coffee right now. It's just about all I'm getting is a dry earth and a mellow, deep coffee kind of a flavor. All right. Decent flavors. Let's let it heat up, get down into the first third, and see what it gives us. Alright. Okay. Ten minutes in now. Flavors, so far, for me, are very deep. Uh, it's the best way. It's almost... The flavors 
they're 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 simple. There's there's quite a few of them, but they're simple. However, they're extremely bold and deep. Like I'd almost describe the flavors like how they're presenting themselves as almost gothic. Uh, very very good. So far, what I'm getting on the uh, on the draw is. Okay, I'm getting almost like a, almost kind of like a breakfast kind of a flavor, like a, like a type of a, like a bread, like a, a, this is difficult to explain, almost like a burnt kind of a bread, not bad, it's good, burnt kind of a bread, very thick smoke, uh, it really, it's, it's dense and uh, because the flavors are so like thick and intense, it really coats the mouth well. So I'm getting kind of like a, a burnt bread, toasty kind of a flavor on the draw. Then it goes out into more of like a leather, a little bit of leather with a hint of spice that comes into the finish, and a little bit of coffee right about now. So there's a lot going on between the draw and the finish and the next draw. So far, I'm really liking this. It is five minutes till midnight where I'm at. Perfect late night smoke. Really digging this. So let's uh, work our way towards the halfway point and see how it develops. All right. Well, <laughs> 30 minutes in, and we're just now about Eh, about an inch down. The burn isn't razor sharp, but not needing any attention. Uh, it has been self-correcting down to this point. No big deal. Uh, but this is a very, very, very slow burn. Uh, flavor profile, it's generally the same. Except they've mellowed out a lot. They've calmed down. They're not quite as deep. I mean, they, they are... They are just as deep as they were, but they're not as intense. So I got a little bit of a, I'm tasting a little bit of a nuttiness coming in, which is kind of nice. It's blending very well. Other than that, it's exactly the same. So let's keep on going towards the halfway point, And I'm looking forward to what this is turning into. Loving it so far. Okay. <laughs> Finally getting somewhere. One hour in now. Uh, just about at the halfway point. Ash is holding on real nice. Construction's good. I did have to give it a little bit of a touch up, but that was my fault talking on the phone. You know, it happens. No big deal. It's been absolutely perfect burn ever since then. Off the light, the draw was a little bit firm. I did end up taking another cut off the, the end here. No problem. Perfect draw ever since then. The smoke so far is still nice and thick. It coats the palate extremely well. The finish has gotten a little bit shorter and the flavors have mellowed out. I'm getting, right now, I'm getting a little bit of an earth. Just a little bit of an earth. The leather's still kind of hanging out and the coffee has come to the forefront uh, so far. I'm still getting that little bit of nuttiness, which is just fine because it's blending fine. And I'm, I'm, I think I'm almost getting a little bit of a a very faint chocolate kind of a taste coming in. Real faint, but I think it's there a little bit. That's just me. That's what I'm tasting. But anyway, this is a very long smoke. Uh, I'm just now at the halfway point, one hour in. Uh, so, so far, so good. I'm enjoying this. I'm getting a little bit of, I'm feeling a little bit of strength, which is just fine. I like a stronger type of smoke. And since it's late at night, I can't sleep too well. That's perfect for me. So let's uh, keep on going, get into the second third, and see if we get some more transitions. <laughs> All right, getting down to the nub now. The smoke is just now starting to get a little bit warm, so I'm gonna be ending it here very soon. We are one hour, 30 minutes in. I always say we, and there's no one else but me. 
I, uh, me and the cigar, I guess. Uh, anyway, <laughs> hour and 30 minutes in, just down to the nub. Smoke's getting a little bit warm. So I'll probably get another 10, maybe 15 minutes out of this. Depends. Uh, yeah, so far, the nuttiness has came in. Not a hot gas kind of nuttiness that you usually get, but a kind of a, let's see, kind of a bolder nuttiness. It's good, and the coffee is definitely there. The chocolate, uh, the leather, the earthiness, it's all just gone away. It's gone. No pepper, no nothing. The smoke is still nice and thick and creamy. The, the nice nuttiness is coming in on the draw, and the coffee is right there. Is The coffee is definitely the prominent flavor, which is very nice. I don't mind that. It's great. The strength, it's up there. It's... Mild to medium, the strength. The cigar itself is definitely a medium, an easy medium, medium body. So yeah, this has actually been very enjoyable. I'm surprised. And uh, a little bit peeling away there at the, uh, the head. It has held together just fine, no big deal. Haven't had to give it another touch up. Burn's been good. The ash has been good. Check that out. And all in all, this has been an absolutely great smoke. So this has been the Diesel Unholy Cocktail in Bellicoso, which is 5x52. Wonderful flavors, great transitions, a very well-made, complex stick. Pick yourselves up one, give it a try, and until next time, we'll see you soon.